Hello, week three, week 13, problem one. Calculate the energy in an electron volts of a photon whose frequency is the following. Then determine the corresponding wavelengths for the photons listed above and state their classifications. All right, so let's start this guy out. Let's write out a formula. So we have E equals HF, where H is Planck's constant, and that equals HC over lambda. This is just the idea that um, Hmm, let's see here. Velocity equals distance divided by time, which equals distance is a wavelength, time is a frequency, and then it propagates, bam, so this relationship right here. I just rearranged things. All right, so I'm actually going to start by solving the second part first, and then solving the next part afterwards? Yes. Maybe. Meh, I will. I will because I want to. All right, so I don't think we even need um, this equation for the second part. We just have to do the whole land, uh, wavelength times frequency equals the speed of light. So we have, so we want wavelength. So we know that wavelength equals C over frequency. There we go. So we're going to have c which is 3 times 10 to the 8th which i'm going to write as 2.99 times 10 to the 8th and then we're going to divide that by frequency and for frequency we're going to do 4 times 10 to the 4th 4 times 10 to the 4th and we get 7475 that eh, seems reasonable meters. All right. So now, if I can get rid of that, get rid of that we're going to do the whole um, E. Oh, actually, I'm going to use this one right here. So we're going to use E equals HC over lambda. Since we already know the wavelength, we can then just do 1240 electron volts, nanometers. HC, um, Planck's constant is... Um, we, you can look it up on Wikipedia. I'm sure I will next couple of videos. But long story short, I just have memorized that Planck's constant as the speed of light is 1240 electron volts times nanometers. It's good to memorize that. Um, 7475 times 10 to the 9th nanometers. So it's 7475 meters, which becomes a whole bunch of nanometers. And that gives us, that's going to give us the electron volts. So it's going to give us a very small number. All right, so I'm going to start by open link and new tab. Bam! I'm going to take the 7475. Actually, I'll do it this way. There we go. Come on, Wolfram, don't fail me now. Yes! Divided by quantity. Uh, one, two, oh, no, I was supposed to divide by, okay. 1240 divided by quantity this guy times 10 to the ninth to the ninth there we go and our answer is something something super small all right so 1.66 times 10 to the negative tenth 1.66 times 10 to the negative tenth all right first one down and I could do this in different order if I wanted to. If I wanted to do find uh, the energy first, I could just use this relation and then do uh, look up what the Planck's constant is and look up and then multiply by the frequency we have here. I prefer going this direction. It doesn't matter. All right, 7.25 times 10 to the fifth. So we have 7.25 times 10 to the fifth. We get... That's not too bad. 412. Okay. Nope, nope. There we go. I think I can copy this. Data. Nope, that's not what I want. Customize plain text. Copyable plain text. And I'll just copy a bunch of this. Copy. There we go. There we go. Extra lazy. 
3 times 10 to the negative 9th. Okay? And let's see here. Then we got to do 4.5 times 10 to the 7th. 4.5, 10 to the 7th. Okay, plain text. Copy a whole bunch. I mean, really get this lazy stuff. And so you see, here, the smaller the wavelength, it means higher the frequency, which means the higher the energy. 1.87 times 10 to the negative seventh. 1.87 times 10 to the negative 7. But as you can tell, none of these are particularly strong. OK. Oh, I forgot to copy it down. 6.64. There we go. There we go. All right, so now I've got to classify these guys. So electromagnetic spectrum. Electromagnetic spectrum. Images. I don't know if images is what I want. So we got, um, don't even know what that is. Here we go. So we have wavelength. There, yeah, yep. Yeah. So we got radio waves. So we're basically going to have types of radio waves, I think. So, hmm. So we got between 10 to the negative 7th and 10, nope. We have 10 to the 4th to 10 to the 5th frequency. So we have 10 to the 4th to 10 to the 5th. Uh, so that's different types of radio waves. OK. So let's do, hmm, can I get something a little bit more precise here? You guys are, you guys are killing me. All right. So let's see, maybe this guy works. Mm, sort of. So, ah, they got this guy reversed. Okay, so we got radio waves, microwaves, and infrared. So 4 times 10 to the 4th, I'm going to say is 4 times 10 to the 4th. I'm going to call that a radio wave. Okay. So, okay, this guy radio wave 10 to the fifth we're gonna go with that's still radio wave and 10 to the seventh maybe a microwave microwave and I'm gonna Google what is between a microwave and a radio wave and they're going to say, ooh, this is actually probably even better. Um, this is probably what they're really looking for right here. So we got 7 times 10 to the 5th. So 7 times 10 to the 5th is like 70 kilohertz or 700 kilohertz. I'll say 700 kilohertz. So I'll say middle frequency. So middle frequency. Four times ten to the fourth. Four times ten to the fourth. So probably this guy. So it'll be LF. So radio waves, specifically low frequency. And ten to the seventh is like ten megahertz. So I'm gonna say VHF. VHF. And I can make a better, better H than that. There. VHF. So, something along those lines. What about microwave? Do they have microwaves in here? I guess they have microwave communication, so maybe microwave is really just VHF. Hmm. 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 Interesting. But I always thought microwaves. Hmm. I might have to do some more research in life. Anyway. So that's the idea behind this problem. Not too complicated. Kind of a kind of carrying on from what you learned last time. Anyway, this one should be kind of a good warm up. I will see you on problem number two.